Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need and will need to do in order to break the 30 FPS limit in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on CMU Emulator. Now before we begin, I must state that performance in Breath of the Wild and on CMU Emulator in general is still 100% dependent on your own personal hardware in your own PC. For example, on my secondary PC that I have in my living room, I have a 2600K at 3.6GHz, 16GB of DDR3 1600MHz RAM and a GTX 780 and on this system I can only barely achieve 30fps nearly at all times but with some drops in villages. Now this PC, under general PC gaming terms, would be considered a fairly powerful PC, however when it comes to CMU emulator, this machine just is not capable of pushing past the 30fps limit. CMU itself is completely dependent on what your CPU is and the core clock of your CPU. When it comes to CMU, you would actually be much better off with a 4 core CPU, for example an i5 6600K at an overclock of 4.8GHz than you would be with a Ryzen 7 1800X. Now this isn't to say that an 1800X isn't a good CPU, it actually is an outstanding CPU, just when it comes to CMU, the higher the clocks you can possibly have on your CPU, the better it is for your in-game performance. Let's swap over to my desktop and I will show you everything you're gonna need. There are basically only two things you need to enable 60fps playback. You need your CMU hook files and you need FPS++. All I'm going to do is take these CMU hook files, copy them, and paste them into my CMU folder. CMU hook is basically required to run Breath of the Wild at decent performance anyway, and you also need it for H.264 video playback, so basically any of the cutscenes. The next thing we're going to do is drop this FPS++ graphics pack into my graphics pack folder. When we come into the FPS++ graphics pack, into the patches.txt, we can see what versions of Breath of the Wild it works with. It works with V144, V112, V97, and as you can see here, it works with V176 and V192. These are the latest updates for Breath of the Wild 1.4.0 and 1.4.1. The next thing we want to do is launch CMU, and coming to options, we want to check out these settings. We want upscale filter to be at bilinear, full screen scaling at keep aspect ratio, and GPU buffer cache accuracy at low. Coming to experimental, you can leave this full sync at GX2 draw done on or off depending on how it affects your performance in game. When we come into the graphics packs, the only one necessary for 60 FPS play is FPS++. Every other graphics pack that you see here basically only fixes bugs or visually enhances Breath of the Wild. Let's close this and let's actually launch our game right now. Once you load past your shaders, what you need to do next is come to options and always make sure that you have turned on GX2 set GPU fan skip hack. Make sure that this small tick appears and that it is turned on. Let's now load into game and see what performance is actually like. So we're now loaded into game and as you can see we are getting very close to 60 FPS. However, I am only getting close to 60 FPS in this area because basically nothing is happening. Nothing is being rendered but me and the world. Let's load into somewhere else where there are a lot of NPC characters, let's just go to Hateno Village. So now that we are fully loaded into Hateno Village, you can see that my frame rate is significantly lower than it was when I was out in the open world. This performance difference is due to several factors. One of them is the amount of complex geometry in this area, and the other is the amount of NPC characters present in this area also. However, the worst performing area in the game that I have found in all my time playing on CMU Emulator is this area just downhill of Hateno. This area is called Hateno Ruins and it is full of not only complex geometry like we see in towns, but also lots and lots of enemies. As you can see, when we come into this area, our frame rate is dropping into the low 40s. This is the actual level of performance you can come to expect from a high-end CPU when running Breath of the Wild on CMU Emulator. These frame rates you are seeing right now are most likely what you will be seeing most of the time. It is very rare in fact that I will be locked to 60 FPS unless I am inside of a shrine. The reason we can get such high levels of performance inside of shrines is because shrines themselves are singular entities. 
we have to load into them and they are not actually part of the main world hub. The main reason that we do not get higher performance when in the open world is due to AI and NPC interactions taking place in the world. So hopefully this video will have cleared up some misconceptions with 60fps playback within Breath of the Wild on CMU emulator. The basic truth is that there is not a single CPU on the market right now that can maintain 60fps in this game at all times. Regardless of any of these facts, it is a much more pleasant experience playing Breath of the Wild on CMU emulator with high resolutions, much better shadow quality, complete reshades of the game making the game world look completely different and much better frame rates in comparison to its native platform the Wii U on which we see drops down to 20 and 15 fps at times. Cheers for checking out the video guys, I hope you found this one useful. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, leave a comment down below if you want help with anything in relation to this video or any of my other videos, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.